Hey guys, Elodia here. Um, it's been a while since the last one, so I thought it'd be about time to update the cookie cutter builds. Um, this time I'm going to do two for you. The first one is going to be land, and the second one is going to be water. This one is going to be the land one, because obviously there's no water maps in the ladder pool. Uh, we're going to see what map we get, whether it's going to be Zaphod or Duelist. Um, okay, so it's going to be Duelist, that's a single planet one. In Zaphod, you can pretty much play the same way, but uh, Duelist, to be more specific, only has three viable spawns, so it's number two here, and then number one, which I have, and then there's the one up there. Um, so I have two, and he only has one. It's quite obvious where he's going to spawn. So we're going to go with one, and we're going to do vehicles, and just pressure his metal up here. So we're going to start with a vehicle factory, of course, and then one fabricator, and then tanks. We get two metal, and then queue up another extra two vehicle factories if I can get that. Nope, that's not good. I want to get it in a way so my commander isn't walking. Come on, I just want to. Okay, there we go. Uh, we only want to go with one uh, vehicle fabricator. We don't want to go with two because. If you go with more than one, then you'll die two docks pretty easily. And besides, we really, we really don't need two at the moment. Um, we will be transitioning to three fabricators once we build our fourth vehicle factory, which is going to be in a bit. Okay, so yeah, so we're gonna get uh, three vehicle factories and energy. Uh, generator and then our fourth vehicle factory and then we're gonna get uh, three power generators get our skidder just to see what he's gonna go whether docks or tank if he's gonna go tank then we can push up with our tanks and be a bit more loose with our defense if he goes docks then we gotta be a bit more defensive okay so he went docks I'm gonna just scout how many fabs he went and that's going to determine how much pressure we're going to see. I'm trying to get a vehicle factory in a place where I have to walk the least, but it doesn't look like it's going to happen. So, one bot fabricator. We're going to try and see what he has behind this. It's so only two bot factories, and I lost the skitter. So, uh, yeah, that was bad, because I have no idea what's actually behind that. Two bot factories could be anything. It could be a third air factory. And I, like, I have no way of knowing now. Um, so yeah, don't lose your skitter, guys. If you don't lose your skitter, you can also, after you've got all the information you need, you can bring it back into your main army, and that'll give you the vision and range to pull your tanks back at the right time against the docks when they come and attack you. So it doesn't look like he has a lot of docks. So maybe he's gone with a lot of uh, fabricators and pgens maybe. Uh, second bot fabricator is going to go on pgens and... Okay, yeah, so that's why you need skitters and that's why you shouldn't, like, um... You should try and keep them alive. Looks like that's going to be fine though, that was a really bad trade by him. He only got one medal and he lost a lot of docks. So now that we know he's made a mistake, we are going to pressure him with our tanks because now he has he has no more momentum with his doctor numbers to uh, um, surround me and kind of force me into a defensive posture. So I'm going to um, pressure his metal. So just pull your tanks back; it should be okay. You'll be able to trade pretty well against the docks. Um, so what's happening is. Uh, we have the the initiative as the tank player, which means we, like it's our advantage because we are forcing the docks player to engage us on our own terms instead of the docks player being able to choose the terms of engagement. It's so like he he can't pick off small groups of tanks here and there because he has to defend with everything he's got. So we're going to cycle the low HP tanks to the back and the high HP tanks to the front. I'm going to keep the pressure up and then send tanks around to attack his metal down the sides.
Looks like I'm gonna lose that flank, but that's okay because we have tanks to back up our fabricator. So now he can't catch these tanks unless he individually selects those docks because they're gonna move at the same speed. Doesn't look like he's gonna do that though, so that's an advantage. So he's going to filter those docks through one by one in that little valley. I think that should be good for us. And I think this game is over right now, so you just need to attack down the front while taking out his metal, and it should be game. Uh, just keep expanding metal. Oh, he's going to bring out his commander. It's always a move of desperation when you do that. So you take out his metal, he's not going to be able to build anything, and then, yeah. So yeah, if you know where the opponent's commander is, just go around the side. There's no need to fight the commander. <clears throat> Gonna orientate that so that our infernos are in front. Uh, the other thing I forgot to mention is um, don't neglect to build infernos. I know it's not popular to do so, but they're really, really good against both docks and uh, tank play because um, you don't need too many infernos, uh, just enough to tank all the incoming damage so that your your tanks behind don't die, um, and then you can kind of snowball your tank numbers like that. So yeah, GG. That concludes the land build order, and if you want to watch the naval one, I'll be uploading that after this.